Hi everybody, my name is Nick and today I'll be showing you how to modify the RIT ARM forearm cup that I have uploaded on uh, Thingiverse. This is a SolidWorks version and as you can see over here in the feature tree uh, it's built from scratch. So originally my intent with this video was just to show how to modify the the file itself but I thought I'd go one step further and show um, my methods for coming up with the shape for the forearm of the recipient and making the cup actually match that. So this is the file that you can download from Thingiverse and what I'll show you here real quick, I'll section this and this is originally designed to make a cup like shape so that regardless of the recipient's forearm shape this could be used to pour a uh, use some silicone and pour a soft insert so that you can uh, take up the shape of the forearm and fit it into the uh, forearm cup and then actually uh, produce uh, newer versions as the child's shapes vary or uh, um, it wears out or whatever be the case So what I'm going to show you now is everybody who gets matched gets photographs of the recipient. And those photographs are taken um, with a ruler set next to the recipient's uh, short arm. And most people are familiar with this tracker software. If not, then uh, search around the... Uh, the Google Plus page and you'll find links to get to that. Basically what it boils down to is you take a ruler and set a measurement scale where you'll drag it out in a one inch increment and that becomes a measurement of one. And then what I'd normally do is come in and try to figure out a point that's somewhere in the mid area of where the the hinge point of the uh, of the actual elbow is at and then drag out a dimension to the end of where the forearms at and that dimension is right here and then what I do is take a look at the forearm and the shape and I'll do kind of the same thing I'll drag out a measurement uh, which basically becomes a diameter measurement at places where you can see that the shape actually moves in or out or you know wherever there's a, a significant change in the shape of the arm. So what I've got here is is several different diameters all along the way here. One thing to note is when it gets down into the smaller dimensions these dimensions are actually off by um, one decimal. So this shows as 4.096 when in fact it's actually 0.4096 same thing with this little measurement of the nub that's clear on the very end of it. It shows 1.259 and in actuality it's 0.125. Um, these other measurements are all correct. So you can trust those. And then what I do is I'll uh, print out a picture of this and take this overall length dimension here. I guess. And if you come in and click on the end of this arrow, you can actually drag it up to where it's at the end of the first mark, and you'll see the dimension changes. And what I do is I'll print print out a picture of this with all the diameters, and then I'll handwrite this dimension, which is from the hinge point of the elbow. And I'll do that for that, and then I'll move on to the next, and the next and you get the point. I just go through here and then I'll take that dimension and basically create a drawing that has diameters and lengths and then I can take that into SolidWorks and actually create a drawing that simulates the recipient's forearm. If I can get it to come up here. There we go. This is actually the cup for my second recipient and I use this method in here and what I'll do is unsuppress this 
And what I have is actually a three-dimensional view of, of this recipient's forearm and how it fits in here. So there, now that I've sectioned this out, this is actually a drawing, and I'll bring this up. This drawing uses the measurements that I mentioned before. So we have, this is the hinge point of the elbow, and then these are half of the diameters, all of these measurements, drawn out in a construction line. And then the length from the hidden hinge point to the diameter is up here. And once I draw all these lines out, then I actually take a spline, which is up here. And what you'll do there is click on this point and the next point and so on. All the way down through here, just click on all these points right up to the end. And what that'll do is give you a variable line here that represents the outside shape of the arm. And what I'm going to do is show you how you can take the original cup and draw out your recipient's same dimensions and put it in there and then modify that to fit. So in this case, instead of actually drawing everything out, which you'll have to draw yours out, but since I've already got the drawing part done, I'm going to copy this sketch. So I'll go up here to Edit, Copy. Now control tab over here. And what you'll need to do is to take this line at the bottom and roll your model clear back to the very beginning before there's any no sketches, no anything. Just go clear back to the beginning. Click on the top plane. Select sketch. And in my case, since I don't have to draw it out, I'm going to paste it. So I'll click anywhere on the screen, click Edit, Paste. Okay, so what I've done through the miracle of editing is I've pasted in the, um, the original sketch that I made for my second recipient. And I've gone in and uh, dimensioned that out. And what I want to do is show you how you would uh, draw your uh, recipient's shape. Um, so we'll get started right now. We'll draw two lines, one on the base of the origin and the vertical of the origin. And then we'll go in with the construction line and basically draw out similar lines to what we have in the drawing above. And they don't have to be anything specific, just they need to be vertical and the same number of lines. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got all six of our lines, and I actually need a non-construction line at the end. So we've got the right number of lines. goes with everything there. Uh, we'll grab the spline tool and we'll start at the right hand side and click at the end of this line and up to the end of the next line. Next. Just continue down through these lines till we get to the end and then hit escape. So now we'll go through here and uh, dimension these lines and that'll actually give us um, give us the proper shape of our spline. One important thing is we want to make our dimensions from the point at the end where the spline line goes through the line that's drawn. So we'll go in here point Eight nine six. Enter.
All right, so we'll go through here, 896 matches, 993 matches, 1.014, 924, 777, 685, 597, 205. And now we'll go through and set our length dimensions. Now, as you can see, now that we have all of our dimensions in there, everything is proper. You'll see that all the blue lines are gone, which means that everything is fully defined. And what we can do now is go up to where my original sketch is. Go up here and highlight everything. Hit delete. That gets rid of everything there. So now what we want to do is go up to the Revolved Base Boss. Click on that. And what that will do is we want to create a solid body from this sketch revolving around this center line. So all of our dimensions here are half of the diameters. And we'll go up to the axis of revolution click on our center line and as you can see now it creates a 3D shape and then we accept it and we'll rename it as arm and now we grab this line pull it clear down to the end of our feature tree and everything will rebuild and now we have a representation of the recipient's arm clear at the very beginning of the drawing so that we can go in and take any of our sketches that create the 3D shapes and tie them to this original recipient arm uh, dimensions. One thing I do like to do is come in here and click on the arm, go over to appearances, click on the appearances, click this body and what this will do is we'll come in and make this a different color so that any sectioning or anything that uh, anything that we visually want to see what this represents it's a different color and it makes it much easier so we'll accept that go over into there get a section view and now that we have a section view you can see what a difference there is between the shape that we need for our recipient and the shape that the actual uh, forearm cup is. So I'm going to stop the video at this point but what we can see from this right now is basically this cross section that needs to be here in order to have our bolt holes and our string holes and everything come through here. This whole thing has to be moved clear out beyond this edge. So in the next video I'll show you how you can accomplish that.